as requested uh, here at HowToWrench.com, you guys have been asking me to do a video from the uh, Vapor Honing Technology Blaster on is it really worth it or is there a difference between you know doing your final product with the traditional sandblaster or the vapor honing you know what are my experiences well let me show you in today's video i'm going to answer some questions that have been starting to pop up through our restoration series using the vapor honing sandblaster and the, the comments have really been and questions have been hey that's really cool but you know how different is it really than just traditional sandblasting as far as the finish you know so what i did is i took this head that had been uh, media blasted by a local dealer here, and I went ahead and just did half of it with the vapor honing. The, the media blasting did a nice job, but you'll be able to actually see how fantastic of a job the vapor honing blaster does as far as getting you really that, that unbelievable finish for your restoration project, if, if that's what you're going for. So you also see how fast it works. Uh, when I do the first little shot of the video, I mean, it's just psh, like 30 seconds and you can immediately see what a difference it is to uh, just doing it, you know, the way we've been doing it forever with media blasting and sand blasting and then with the vapor honing machine. So, all right, well, why don't we get to restoring this one right here? So this side here was traditionally sand blasted and it's nice it's it's a real nice job when you looked at this head I took some before pictures real quick here is one of those before pictures so you can see the consistency on both sides beforehand you'll see that it's, it, it's nice uh, it just kind of has a like a dirty you know tint to it there and I can take carb cleaner on that all day long and it will not come off there okay so it's, it's literally like staining so if you take a look here after doing some vapor honing you could see here here's a visual line to show the the split there and you can just see that difference so obvious how amazing it finishes and what I wish you could do through the video is feel just like how smooth it is and then uh, if you kind of look from above here you can really see the difference uh, and this was not like spending 20 minutes blast on this was like 30 seconds just whoosh, just shooting right across there and you can really see that finish come right back here where it hasn't been done and you can just see uh, the difference of those two so I'll go ahead and finish this up so let's check out our work here I think I got a little bit more touch up you can see from the, the left here going to the right this is where I originally did that first half and if you come across you can you can really see how there's like a shadow here so I'm trying to make a point here that this is really making a difference compared to, you know, traditional media blasting. You can actually see where it looks dark or kind of, like I said, stained again. And then you look here and that is just gone. So I need to spend some more time in here before I showcase a final product here. I'm not happy with this yet. I'm going to go spend a little more time in this area and then we'll come back and see the final product. All right, let's look at this finished product here. This turned out fantastic. Get some nice close-ups there. And I talked kind of about that shadowing. And now you can see that we've got that consistent silver all the way across there. If you haven't been to the restoration series yet here on the YouTube playlist, uh, please head over there and check it out. Maybe to encourage you to see what other products you guys can uh, use the sandblaster for. I've done some great videos on carbs. Uh, electrical, uh, numerous things. Uh, I really want to recommend you head over to their website and check it out if you're doing any kind of restoration services or you know uh, bike building yourself. I mean this company and this machine is just fantastic. So really appreciate them being part of HowToWrench.com. All right, friends. I hope that answered the questions you guys have been asking about uh, the capabilities of this machine here. What a great example on this Triumph head here. If you have any other questions or comments, the best method to get a hold of me is through the website at HowToWrench.com on the contact form. Please uh, hit a like, subscribe, uh, feel free to make a donation on any of these videos that help, uh, you know, shortcut your time and whatever you're trying to do. And thanks for uh, teaching us as well and, and through a lot of the great comments that people put on here. But as always, going to get back to work, so keep wrenching and make it a great day.